Hey! Um, this is gonna be part two of this experience video vlog thing I got going on. Um, I did my Tragus, and now I'm gonna do my anti conch slash snug. Um, I've heard a lot of people call it a snug, but when I went to my piercer, she's like, oh, that's your anti conch, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, it's pretty much this really tough piece of skin right here. I mean, not skin, cartilage. Right there. And, yeah. Um, it didn't hurt at all. I'm afraid of my tragus. My tragus, my tragus wasn't like, who, excruciating pain. But when she, cause she, my tragus is really thick. Instead of her to want all the way through or whatever, she went like halfway through and that hurt, like stung really bad. And then she just popped it all the way through. And that, I, heard, that was, I like, Felt it pop, but I didn't hear it, if that makes sense. Anyway, that's the point. Pretty much the same with my anti conch. It, like, went through, and, like, it was a really uncomfortable feeling, because, like, it's skin, too, and your skin is resistant anyway, and then your cartilage is, like, really tough to go through. So it just felt really uncomfortable, and, yeah. But I give it, like, a 4 out of 10, or 3 out of 5, or two and a half out of five or something. Anyway, yeah. Then um I I waited two days like I always do and clean cleaned it with antiseptic wash. Cause I got um uh, my tragus and my anti con and my cartilage all on the same day. So my ear was kinda like sensitive anyway, so I didn't want to inflame it. And then I cleaned it with soap and wa Ooh, excuse me, in water for a while. It was fine. It was really good. And then all of a sudden, my ear started hurting like, really, really bad. And I got really worried because so I was like, is, is it infected? But, like, I was like, if it was infected, it'd be, like, pussy. It's just sore and, like, throbbing. So I took ibuprofen. And then I went to my piercer. And she told me that, um, it was my anti conch had just swollen. And when I say it swole, like, I'm going to show you. Okay, this is the barbell I got pierced for my tongue. Okay, let's say when I first got it done, about this much of the barbell was being covered by the piercing, and then all of this was like extra hanging off just in case, like the end of this was extra just hanging off in case it swole. Okay, it swole this whole barbell, like I could not move it. At all, so there's no like room to move it. It hurt to move. It was really sensitive. It was really puffy right here in this area right here. And I had a pretty good amount of barbell there to move. I couldn't move it at all. It was horrible and it hurt really bad. And I went to her and she was like, "It's just swollen. There's no pus or anything. It'll go down. Just clean it. Salt water soaks and all that stuff." And that's what I did. It's gone down. It doesn't hurt it at all. It's not tender. It's fine. I think it's still a little swollen because um, I mean the barbell is you, the bar you can I have room to move it and the barbell isn't like completely covered but yeah um but it's fine now and yeah I clean it with water everything yeah okay I think that's it but as far as the jewelry goes that I can put in it. I mean, unless you put a captive bead ring right there, which I don't see why on earth you would want to, because it seems like you would hit on everything, but I guess you could do that. Mine's a 16 gauge, so I just put an eyebrow ring, eyebrow thing in there. That's what it was pierced with. That's what it means. Probably, I'm not going to probably change it, because, I mean, unless, it's, unless it comes down some more. Because, like, for some reason, when I swell, it takes a while for it to come down. Like, my tongue took about two weeks to completely stop swelling. About two and a half weeks. I mean, it wasn't swollen, swollen, but then it still was, like, trickling down by the three-week mark. So, if it doesn't get less, I'll just keep in this barbell. But if it does get less, then, um, or get smaller, then I'll take it out and put the barbell that my rook was pierced with in there because my rook is really long and I think it'd be short enough to fit in that once it completely heals so that's what I'll probably do cool. I think that's it though I think that's all 
But if I forgot anything, ask me, and I'll do a video when I change all of them and show you guys how to change all of them. But yeah, leave me a comment if you need anything, and subscribe. Bye.